Greetings! In this video, we will continue with the project where we had implemented a simple linked list, abstract data type, and we will use that uh, ATT as the data storage for two new ATTs, the stack and the queue. Now, we can see here, we already have the uh, linked list code in here. Let me just close that up and uh, let's get the interface for the stack abstract data type here. So this is the interface. Uh, we can uh, we can find if the stack is uh, contains any elements. We can push data onto the stack and we can pop it off the stack. The push operation pushes an item onto the top of the stack and the pop operation removes an item from the top of the stack that makes the stack an uh, last in first out data structure the last element pushed on will be the first one popped off now let's uh, this is the interface for our stack then and let's uh, use it here in the main to uh, test the stack we'll declare a stack variable Push some data on it. And then when we pop this off, we expect to get the data in the reverse order from what we uh, pushed on. We push uh, 2 and 5 onto the stack and uh, we expect that to come out as, uh, as uh, 5 and then 2. Now, um, as we have not implemented our stack, we will just uh, define the interface. Although we can uh, compile, uh, it will not uh, link because uh, we will have an unresolved uh, uh, function here. And so let's go ahead and, and uh, define these, uh, missing, the missing implementation of the stack. We'll start by, by uh, creating our, our data structure. Here we can store the uh, data for a stack. And the constructor, we don't need to do much uh, initialization. The stack itself, uh, the uh, linked list will initialize itself in, in its, uh, in its uh, uh, constructor so we don't have to take care of that um, the is empty operation <coughs> we just forward that uh, question to the uh, to our link list so we return the result of uh, the same operation in the link list so that's done now push data onto the uh, stack we use our link list again and uh, add an head add, add the item onto the as the first item of our link list so that's done and then we just have the pop operation uh, to implement and uh, here we need a little bit uh, more code. We'll, we'll declare a uh, variable of uh, type item. We'll, uh, we'll get the uh, top item from uh, our linked list. 
uh, we have we have two operations in the link list: remove head or remove tail. Uh, if we would remove the tail, we will get uh, we would not get the result that we want. We we would get the uh, first item that was added to the list, but we don't want that. We want the last item, and as we always uh, add items to the top of the list, uh, removing from the top of the list will give us this functionality. Okay, and now we just have to return this item back to the color, and we are done. So, all that is left is to check if our code uh, gives us the results that we expect. We push 2 and 5 onto the stack, and then we pop, out, pop them out. Uh, first this one and then that, and print them out. So we expect to get 5 and 2 when we pop it out. Let's see. And here we go. Now let's go to uh, the other data structure, the queue. I'll paste in the interface here. And the interface for the queue is very similar to the stack. We have uh, we have our utility function to uh, to tell uh, tell us if it's empty or not. And then we have uh, one function for one operation for uh, for uh, enqueuing items, and another for dequeuing. So one in and one out. And the only difference from the stack is that the queue is uh, by default. Uh, first in first out queue so just like regular queues in the bank or in the grocery store the the first one that comes is the first that will be served so uh, let's just start by changing our our uh, test code here we'll move over to uh, the queue uh, data type Change this uh, code here a little bit. And we'll we'll queue the same numbers, and then we'll uh, remove them from the queue with our DQ operation. and then print out okay so this should uh, compile but cannot run because we don't have an implementation we need to go ahead and implement the uh, the queue and uh, again, our uh, data structure for the queue is going to be a uh, linked list. And the, uh, the constructor is just empty. We we don't need to initialize anything else than the linked list, which uh, does it by itself. It's empty, it's forwarded to the linked list. And uh, the NQ will do just like the uh, push in the, uh, in the uh, stack. So we'll, we'll uh, forward it to the link list and use the uh, add head method. Like that. 
but in the DQ we'll have to do a little bit different from from the uh, stack. Now we want to remove the uh, the last element in the list as we push new items on onto the top of the list uh, to get this uh, first in first out uh, functionality. We'll have to get the uh, the oldest element, which is uh, at the at the bottom of the list, the last item. So that's easy. We have an interface for that in the link list already. So we'll just go ahead and uh, use it. The uh, remove tail function. And then we can return the i. The item, and uh, we should be all done. Let's see. We we queue two and five, and then we dequeue them, and should get then uh, two and five printed out. Let's see. And there it is, two, and then five. So in this video, we have seen how we can how we can uh, uh, reuse our our linked list. Uh, implementation to uh, to define two new uh, abstract data types the stack and the queue they are a little bit different uh, quite different really but uh, but uh, the basic functionality for for storing and retrieving the data is uh, can be shared the linked list is a good uh, data structure for both and uh, and uh, we have all the only with uh, four or three basically functions here in the uh, link list the add hat remove hat and remove tail we can we can implement these basic uh, operations for for the two other abstract data types and of course we can build a lot of other data types abstract data types from the link list or, or even from from the stack in the queue so that this helps us reuse the code to keep this uh, strict uh, separation from the interface and the implementation in our abstract data types. Thank you for watching.